In this video, we're going to solve question number one from the practice exam number three from Math 2270, for which we're suppo we suppose that we have a three by five matrix that has a row space with dimension equal to one. What is the nullity of the matrix? So some things we need to know in order to answer a question like this one. So the end of the fundamental theorem of linear algebra, sometimes referred to as the rank nullity theorem, tells us the following. If we take the rank of a matrix, A, and we add it to the nullity of the matrix A, which should remind ourselves what these words here mean. The rank of a matrix A, this is the dimension of its column space. It's also equal to the number of pivot columns in the matrix. The nullity of a matrix is the dimension of its null space, which also equals the number of non-pivot columns in the matrix or the number of free variables in the system. We have, if you have some n, n, uh, excuse me, n by n matrix here, that is, you have m many rows and n many columns, then the rank of the matrix plus the nullity of the matrix is always add up to be n. So the number, uh, the rank plus the nullity always adds up to the number of columns, because after all, the rank counts the number of pivot columns and the nullity counts the number of non-pivot columns. Related to this, we also have the equation that the co-rank, the co-rank of A, plus the co-nullity of A, this always adds up to M. Let's check what these vocab mean as well. Co-rank, this is the dimension of the row space. And notice in our question, that's actually the information we have. The row space is equal to one, the, the dimension of the row space, the co-rank is equal to one right here. So the dimension of the row space is called the co-rank. It's also equal to the number of pivot rows in the matrix. The co-nullity, this is equal to the dimension of the left null, null space and hence is also equal to the number of non-pivot rows inside of the matrix. Uh, and so the sum of the pivot rows plus the, the, the sum of the non-pivot rows will give you the number of rows in the matrix, which here is M. So those are some important things to know here. Another important thing to know is that the rank and the co-rank are always equal to each other. And that's because after all, the rank counts the number of pivot columns, the co-rank counts the number of pivot rows. And so that's just the same number. Those are both the same number because this is the number of pivot positions inside of the matrix. And so when we put these together, what we need to find is the nullity of the matrix. What we're given is the co-rank. So we know the dimension of the row space. We know this is equal to one. So the way to connect these things together is the following. We know that there are five columns inside the matrix, so we know n. Uh, we also know that the rank is equal to one. Therefore, the nullity by the rank nullity theorem would have to equal five minus one, which is equal to four. And so therefore, the correct answer would be E. There, the nullity of the matrix would necessarily have to be 4.